in this very special episode of Mighty Car Mods, we have found something that would have been really handy uh, if I'd found it a couple of months ago, and that is the most amazing thing that has ever appeared on this show. That is the magazine what? that features Twisted. It features the all one. the modifications, all the engine stuff, and today we're going to go through it and see if any of this stuff that was built into this car is still in this absolute nugget that I picked up for 4,000 bucks off Facebook. So everyone, this is a copy of Hot Fours magazine. This is from almost 10 years ago, and this is when Twisted was on the cover of this magazine. Now, of course, this was an era of cars. Like this was, this is like the kind of things that we've been talking about here. Like this crazy sex, sex spec stuff was just huge. Like look at these, Whoa. <laughs> look at these cars, man. Like this stuff is like yeah, no, absolutely out of control. But Twisted was on the cover, which was a pretty big deal. Now, probably the most important thing you need to know. And Marty, of course, uh, has been saying all sorts of silly things about my Evo. Um, it's an Evo. The magazine even calls it a slammed Evo coupe. So finally, we can put that one to bed. When Hot Fours says that you're an Evo, you're an Evo. That's, that's just the way that it is. So this was obviously <laughs> 10 years ago, and the car's been owned by a number of people since then. Look at the MR2, man. Look at look, the MR2 on there as well. Look at that. Whoa. It's the wildest MR2. So we're going to go through this together now. This is from February 2010. Look at this, man. Uh, we're going to go through. We're going to find Twisted. Here it is. Oh, stop it. It's, um, it's story time, everybody. Orange Twist. Uh, words by Josh Bennis, by the way. Thank you. And picks by Chris Sorgsep, uh, who no doubt are still around. Uh, thank you very much. Um, here we go. We've all heard the old story about inheriting your granddad's car. Usually it's something boring and slow. Camaras. Hey, boring and slow, what? Camrys and Corollas are the norm. Uh, so when this guy was given a Lancer Coupe, he was more than happy. Um, when you first get your license, car maker model isn't really on the priority list. Matter of fact, we're just happy to drive anything. So um, it turns True. out the owner actually inherited this from his granddad. He planned on driving the car for a year or so and then move on to something else. But as you can see, six years on, that didn't happen. Six years. That's commitment, dude. That's a long build process, man. Uh, he liked the fact that the earlier Lancer Coupes were a touch more exclusive than other cars. Were they? Exclusive? Were they exclusive? Um, Lancers? I don't know. I've never used the word Lancer and exclusive in the same sentence before. I mean, Evo 6, Tommy Mackinnon ones were. But he thought to make the most of it, he thought a touch of bling would help to make it more his style. Touch of bling, you say? More like an armful. Hey, hey, hey. Um, more like an armful. On pretty much the same day he was given the keys, the back springs came out and that was the end. <laughs> We've all been there. Here it is. Oh, look at this man when it was in its prime. It's one of the only cars on the road that can change four lanes in fourth gear without turning. What? What does that mean? Uh, that means talk to you, man. The dose pipe on this Evo-powered Lancer would give even the biggest VL fan something to talk about. Custom potato oh. slices. Did you know they were called potato slices? No, I didn't. Custom potato slices are integrated just in case you feel like hot chips. Wow. You sure know how to sex up the inside. It went from boring to sex spec in one swift manoeuvre. Mate, let's just, get, let's just get right into it. Now, Martin, this is just blowing my wormhole. Who knows from the internet? Here we go. We're about to see how awesome people are. Is this true? This is true. What's the front bar from? Have a look, everyone. What kind of car is that front bar from? Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. I know, I know. Should I give people a chance to work it out? Do you actually Dude, know? we should do a poll. Do you um, actually know? Yeah, I do. What that kind of car is it from? An S15. Yes. Well done. That is a Nissan... Um, that but I is... never noticed it till just now. Yeah, it's, it's, a... it's this bit. It's, it's those cutouts. Yeah. They give it away in this lippy thing. It's an M Sport S15 front bar. Wow. Let's go to the back of the car, everybody. No, nah, is that different as Let's well? Let's go to the back of the car. I kind of like that, man. Let's see who can... I like it as I well. Know I'm it's... just going to get some light. I know what this second. is from. I'm just going to get some I'm light. I'm going to turn this on, dude. All right. Does that help? Yes. And also, get my mad Ryobi Bendy light. They should just call it the Ryobi Bendy light. I'd buy one if it was called the Bendy light. We bought it anyway, but everyone's like, what's the light? Just call it the Ryobi Bendy light. 
Everybody, rear bar. Just, Ooh. just give them, I'm going to give them a few seconds, Martin. Oh, this gonna, one's I'm this put, one's trickier. I'm going to put the countdown timer on. This one's trickier. Is it the, just the the lower bit, or they actually mean the whole bumper bar? Um, well, the whole rear lip. That rear lip. Okay, that is from an R33 Skyline. No. Nah, oh, man. It's from a WRX. I was going to say that. It's initially. a Subaru WRX. Now, here's the amazing thing. Which WRX is that from? Um, it is from. I'll just read this for you. So it says the M Sport S15 front bar was shaped to suit the Lancer front end. Uh, X Racing side skirts and a WRX rear lip was fitted to give the car an all-round oh, full man. look. I rate that. I like that um, they're using other stuff. Like, Too Sexy's got a Honda like front lip on it. Yeah. This is cool. And remember the first time we went to Japan, we saw Nissans with Subaru lips. Well, this yep. is a Mitsubishi with a WRX rear flap and Nissan on the front. Like, the more you learn about this, my respect for the car and the owner that spent all this time is actually going up. And people can laugh and go, oh, that, it's a bygone era, but that's freaking awesome. You know why I love it you as well? You got Subaru, you got Nissan, you got Mitsubishi. I just love it too because it's not just, oh, we just got a parts catalogue and threw some parts at it. Like, that's, that's hard, man. It's hard work to do that because you've got to cut and shut. Like, most of the time, the car you get it off is too wide and you've got to, like, cut it down the middle and then re-weld it and do all yep. this kind of crazy stuff. Um, so, the bonnet here, Martin... Um, it's a custom-built Evo 3 bonnet, and it was shaped to suit the coupe chassis. Uh, metal oh. King stainless grills fill the slots with the Evo 3 snorting vents used to exhale heat. After all, the body was um, smoothed, boot lock and wiper jets included boot lock. Sorry. Um, so they basically shaved it. Um, then they put the car in the booth and covered it in what colour? Oh, it's a I famous know this. colour. I know this. It is like Ford orange. You're good. Yes. Absolutely. So this is Ford Focus electric orange from bumper to bumper. Let's have a little recap, my friends. Let's have a little recap. This is a slammed Evo coupe, a real Evo. You've seen it on hot fours. It's got an M Sport S15 front bar, a WRX rear lip, an Evo 3 bonnet, and it's painted Dude. in Ford electric orange. I've got another issue for you, but I'm going to tell you once you finish. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we're going to be going for a little while. Do you no, want to tell fine. me now? Do you want to do a little camera swapsie no, and you can no, tell no, me no, what your I issue is? Man. man, let's just keep going. People have to I, wait. I haven't highlighted anything because I haven't actually read all of this yet. Um, uh, he wanted some serious muscle to match the looks and there's no way the age-old car be fed 1.5 litre would be up to the task, even though Absolutely. the panels on the Lancer Coupe are different to an Evo 3 sedan. They're the same skin deep. How did that help you ask? Evo 3 front cut, yeah boy, JDM front cut. We did know about that already. Dude, Carby. These things came out Carby. Can That's you crazy, that? isn't it? If you're not familiar with the Evo 3 engine, understand that in stock form, the 4G63 produces around 250 horsepower, which is 249 horsepower more than the 1.5 litre unit. I well done. Did there. Well done, Josh. Well done. That's awesome. So what did they do? Well, plans were to buy a half-cut, rebuild it, make some serious front-drive talk. He found a half-cut with a crank problem in Queensland. Early Evo 3s had Wait, a tendency to crank get crankshaft problem. walk crank problem. to the seven-bolt crankshaft um, they possessed. This, this, this could be an issue if it still has a crank problem, dude. We are. What if it's still got a crank problem? Dude, wait, I'm only halfway through a stanza. Right. Is that what it's called? Or no, they're a, Datsuns, dude. A paragraph? A stanza? Um, anyway, so what did they do to it? Um, uh, due to the seven bolt crankshaft, with plans to rebuild the motor, they bought a half cut knowing they'd eventually pull out the seven bolt crank, replace it with a six bolt gallant item. Putting the six bolt crank is a must when rebuilding the Evo 3 engine. As soon as the half cut arrived, they swapped everything climate control, dash, brakes, engine, everything that could be swapped over was. They and did. check out this bit he did it with his dad. Oh, a freaking awesome. legend. Yeah, that's 11 out of 10. That's cool. This, as. Once you start learning a story about a car, your respect level yeah, man. for it. And the previous just to, owner just, just go gone through the and, roof. Didn't go to a workshop and live there for three years. Um, the engine went straight in, no rebuild, but only for a while. As the problematic crank issue got worse and worse, it became undrivable and needed to be pulled down. Um, it was sent off to Meek Automotive and left for them to complete a full rebuild. So we got a fully rebuilt engine? Maybe. Six bolt gallant crank and all. Once the engine was completed, TDO5 turbo bolted to a ported Evo 3 exhaust manifold. 18 PSI. Burnt gas now exits through a ported Evo 3 dump pipe, three inch exhaust and then the four inch cannon. We did know about that, giving off the well-known deep Evo growl. Make sure fuel is supplied efficiently. It has a Walbro intact fuel pump. Well, I wish I'd read this before we did that. Yeah, that would have been good. Uh, so it has a Walbro fuel pump already. Um, it already had 510cc injectors as well. More than adequate for a car running pump fuel, but now it's not. It's going to be running on ethanol, so I'm glad that we did change which, those. Which, funnily enough, when this was made, you couldn't get the same way you can get now. You couldn't just go and buy it at the pump. And now you can, Things which is crazy. 
Um, a hybrid front mount replaced the stock Evo 3 unit. Piped up using plasma man mineral belt intercooler kit. Ignition was left stock, though magna core leads were fitted. Intents are always to make some serious power, thus giving the front driver intensely serious torque steer. It's a blast to drive. One of the only cars on the road that can change four lanes in fourth gear without turning. They've said that again. Four gears without turning. That's... Something else to make note of it is it's idle it possesses. It's more lumpy than your granny's mashed potato. That might explain we why it sounds that. weird. We noticed that. Why yeah. it sounds that. And it says um, it's because of the 272 cams. It or does have cams. Man. So there we oh, go. We're looking in there through the, through the oil cap and we could see springs that, that, that looked aftermarket. This is before we had any idea about any of these. Yeah. It's like it does look so slightly maybe it does have different. A cam in it. Dude, cam is good. You look at that engine power. bay. Wait on. That pipe. Is that pipe different? Yes. Like a different shape? Oh, hang on. And no battery. Know, oh, yeah. Because the battery was in the back. That pipe does look a bit different. So this is what it had, Marty. See, this is what we didn't know. In the middle over here, it had a 6.5-inch DVD player, oh. two Kenwood amps, one Sony amp. It had three amps. Yeah, one in the boot. Oh, hang on. We've only got two. Yes. So someone's redone it. There's so no there's amp a... under the driver's seat, is there? I don't think so. Is there? No. Nope. Yep. There you go. So, yeah, you say, and I don't even know if these are the same brands Dude, this, or anything. These cars were back in the day where you could sell the stereo out and make your whole car's money worth. Yeah, that's true. So, it had two Kenwood amps, one Sony amp, two times 15 inch Sony Pentagon subs, which it still has, um, Orion front and rear speakers. To say the tunes is Fanta flavoured Lancer sound. To say the tunes is this Fanta flavoured Lancer sound epic is a huge understatement. I don't know what that means, Ben. I think it means the tunes. I think that's a typo. Uh, Fanta I think it flavored. sounds really good. It's Fanta flavoured. Doran um, custom trimming took the interior to the next level. Lavishly sure spread perforated and smooth leather over the entire car. Downlights were fitted to the doors and boot. Uh, we know that. Show and go. Is it snakeskin? What Spitfire is it? Spitfire gauges mounted, mounted in the dash. Uh, let's have a look when we get there. Um, knows exactly what's going on. At first looks, you could mistake this Evo for a tubbed drag car. However, the reason the car hugs the rear rim so hard, not right now, but it was really, really low, the reason that it hugs the car so hard is because it had some serious inner guard bashing. Oh, the really? The 19-inch Lenzo six-speed rims only just fit, but that's the way he likes it. Big rims and non-existent. Um, tubbing, you say? I don't... I don't know... I hang, what? D just inner guard bashing. You know, guard bashing. Well, that's the top of this guard, right? I mean, that's... Light me up, dude. Light up my I life. I mean, it is. That oh, is... hang on. Hang on. Light up my life. Where's our, where's our Mad Bendy? Dude, I think I know what they're talking about because I can see some serious rubbish in through there. Get him right in there. What's going on there? Oh. Whoa, look at... Wait a minute, look up. Oh, yeah. It has oh, they've been. Cut the, they've, cut the whole of the, um, they've cut the whole of the top out. That's a whole section, like a whole section, probably because it wasn't on bump stops or anything. That's because, all new metal in there, man. But look how low it is in these pictures, right? Look at this compared to what it is now. Like, look how low it is. Oh, wow, yeah, that's crazy. That's insane. Well, there you go. And this has been all lipped and rolled and stuff. But, yeah, it is. It's not, I don't know, call that tubbed. But yeah, the wheel arches are definitely being chopped out from, to make some more room. Well, it says the original owner put the audio in himself. It was cool. one of the first things he modified. Sweet. Um, Martin, we're nearly at the end of this article. Um, the reason the car hugs the road so much is some inner guard bashing, also known as some removal, but that's the way he likes it. Uh, the thing that stands out the most is that people don't say nice paint or awesome power, they comment on how low it is. That used to be so... That, this was before people wanted functional cars, isn't it? Yep. Um, uh, the, the car was not built by searching through a catalogue. Um, the owner and the dad did a lot of That's the hard work said. and creative designing themselves. He enjoys the car for what it is. He loves to drive. It's a real buzz. He admits it would be a better drive if it was driven by all nothing. Um, he's saying something about it would be better if it was all-wheel drive. He well, must it is all-wheel drive, isn't it? It is all-wheel drive. I don't know what he means. So maybe well, that would explain why you paid so much more for it than the guy who probably sold it to the because guy it who was you bought it. Because it is all-wheel yeah, drive. Yeah, maybe they removed the conversion. Um, owning the car for six years, it's safe to say the car is finished. We said, what, what's next? And he said, nope, one car's enough. Um, and I'm going to buy an apartment now. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. And now he's part of the Hot Fours. Cover club. So there it is. Sweet. On pretty much the same day he was given the keys, the back springs came out and that was the end. Look at the, look at this, Martin. The airflow meter is fitted to the intercooler pipe. Why? To yeah, that's... Dose. A... Oh. For the extra VLs. Oh, oh yeah, da, 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 because da, da. Um, the inter... Generally, they don't like it. The airflow meters get really cranky if they're here. But I don't, I don't know. Is that where the filter was originally? Can we tell? Uh, or is well, that the dose pipe? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's the dose oh, pipe. It's just open. 
Yeah, it just hangs out there for the extra stuff. Yeah, the, the airflow meter is a conversion that um, they put into the intercooler pipe, but you need like a special adapter kit and harness and everything to make it work. Yeah. A bit old school. Um, Martin. Do you want to be joint your mind blown yet? Are you ready? Uh, no, I'm, I'm almost ready to almost. be blown, but this is the most important bit now because now we go through the mod list. Oh, good. This Let's is what it. we're here for. This, yep. is, this is what we're here for to actually see what... See this? The hot facts? This was the best bit about this magazine. This is where you get to go through and see what's actually here. So, do we have a 96 model um, Mitsubishi Evo? Yes. Engine, 4G63 Evo 3. Here we go. Engine hardware, Martin. Are you ready? Yep. So... We've got a rebuilt internals, TDO5 16G turbo, 18 PSI, ported exhaust manifold, dose pipe, uh, mandrel bent aluminium piping, hybrid front mount in the cooler, Evo 3 ported dump pipe, 3 inch exhaust, high flow cat, 4 inch cannon tip, Walbro 500 horsepower in tank fuel pump, 510cc Evo 3 injectors, remote oil cooler leads, um, the meat tuned Evo 2 ECU. Oh, that's interesting. Um, T-piece braided lines, Earl's fittings, chrome and ceramic coated components. We saw some of the chrome components. See this? Each bolt. Each bolt has yeah. been like chromed, it's which is work, epic. Man. Um, drive line, Evo 3 gearbox, lock to front wheel drive, Fidanza light and flywheel, Exidi heavy duty clutch, Exidi ceramic loaded heavy duty pressure plate, Evo 3 front LSD, uh, GAB adjustable coilovers, Evo 3 front strut brace, Evo 3 lower sway bar, Evo 3 discs, Evo 3 twin spot calipers, Bendix brake pads. Um, painted, of course, by two sus in Ford Focus Electric Orange, shaved wiper jet, shaved bootlock, metal king, stainless, it, it goes on and on and on, projector headlights, the M Sport bars we've spoken about, detailed engine bay, 19 inch Lenzo speed rims. 19s? Um, Is that what um, they are? <clears throat> we've gone through the stereo stuff, but it appears some of that's not there anyway. Retrimmed in smooth and perforated Python print. Yes! We knew it! Yes! We knew snake it was print. snake. Well done! That's I just got so excited. It's now been confirmed. We have to call this this episode "Disrespected Magazine." Um, Martin, you were right as well. FTO front bucket seats. Hey, you know you were calling the FTO. I think Mechanical Stig might have called that one. Rear shaped rear seats, reshaped door skins, retrimmed roof lining, auto gear gift knob, shortened gear throw, steering wheel, Spitfire gauges, 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 shift lights, down lights, interior boot, uh, deep individual custom deep individual boot boxes, floating amp bracket, retrimmed boot. Um, there it is. Uh, again, I do want to do a shout out to the original owner and your dad, it seems, and your grandfather, who it sounds like you inherited your car from him. So well done. There it is. I would say, magazine burst the real car. I would say, everybody, that it's kind of pretty much all still there. That said, it's still untested. We still don't know if it drives. We still don't know if it starts. But the next time you see it, because uh, I think that's in two days' time, we are going to the dyno. So I just want to thank bring, you very much, I just want everybody. To bring one thing to your attention. Is it something good, or are you yeah, just going to Yeah, it's good. So. Sland Evo Coop. Yes. Is there any possibility, and some train spotters would have already seen it, that what they're talking about is not. Wait, there was another photo of it. What? Where? I saw another photo of it back here a few pages ago. Oh, Martin, there's more. There it is. Oh, cool. Look at that. Two oh, this is the cover girl. Anyway, yeah, cool. Martin, I wonder what, what, she's what up are you to trying to days. show me? I want to show you. Oh, look at the tuning computers, dude. The dyno, the sound off computers. Far out. It's old school. I have a feeling. Oh, dude, Colt. It's a done up Colt. That's sick. 20 kilowatt audio monster. Wow, it's got 20 kilowatts of, of, of. Dude, is this the one they're talking about? Maybe what? they're talking about this Evo. That's not a coupe. Well, it's, it's got four doors. But th that's but that's a real Evo, and that's I mean, dude, what come on, man. Th there's a circle that's touching this car that yeah, says but, Evo. But it's not an Evo. Dude, now you're. That's an Evo. No. But that's an Evo. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Of course, um, let it go, man. But that's an let is that go. is that not an Evo? Poll time. No, is dude. that not a real? Is this a real Evo? I don't know. It's under the bonnet. Maybe it's got a 1.5 litre Carby Lancer engine in it. Nah, dude. I don't know. It's got a Rising Sun Japanese flag on it, and it's got dude. It's got a Rally Art sock on the brake thing. Well, that's... now you know it's legit. Um, anyway, so it seems there's a couple of lances in there. Everybody, that was uh, magazine versus the real car. Oh, path. dude, and I is think that what a... we've learned? Look, is that everything is like still in there. That makes it awesome. Charade, yeah. man. I know. Wait for it. The number plates were so I'll creative. Wait for wait it. Wait for it. Um, as opposed to eyes off and twisted. So there it is, everybody. Um, next time you see the car, it is going to be on the dyno. Uh, and then, of course, we'll be battling um, too sexy. Too sexy. We'll be destroying this Evo, not Evo. We. The magazine said it's an Evo, man. Oh, yeah, it did too. The magazine Confirmed. said it's an Evo. Even Wikipedia And, and, and you know that. that when the magazine yeah, said it's an Evo, it I is know. an Evo. I know. I'm going to go and just... It's actually confirmed. You've been, you've been published. 
I mean, I? too sexy had anything too sexy has been published, so I don't know if it counts. Oh, dude, what is this? that? I think it's an S2000. Dude, let's just go read this magazine over some tasty chicken. Some six, six speakers in the back. Some six spices in my face. Lots of tissues. Let's get twisted.